My name is Jason Lloyd. Um, I'm a registered professional land surveyor here in Oklahoma. I'm also a certified federal land surveyor, and I'm also Choctaw. And so I'm glad that you have uh, decided to watch this video, uh, just a short video about uh, land surveying and, and the profession of land surveying. Um, I really enjoy being a land surveyor. I've uh, been doing it for a long time and I really enjoy all of it. And I think what I really like about it is uh, there is a combination. It's really the best of both, wor both worlds. Uh, you get a combination of uh, working in the great outdoors. I love being outside. I love nature. I love going to places that, you know, I don't know if people's been in uh, decades. Uh, I love uh, going uh, places in the outdoors. I also love, you know, the um, research side of it, the office side of it, the drafting part of it. You know, uh, so you get to work outside, you get to work inside, and all of this uh, while using uh, current um, cutting-edge technology. You know, the uh, uh, satellite uh, technology that we have today, you know, uh, is just, uh, it's very fun to use. Um, so there's a, a, a challenge, uh, there's a marriage between all of that stuff, and uh, that just creates a great profession. I love my profession, you know, and I get uh, seen a lot uh, while I'm uh, riding around on my four-wheeler, uh, but I'm at work, you know. So, I mean, uh, people tease me all the time, you know, because I get paid to ride around on a four-wheeler, you know. But either way, uh, uh, what surveying is really about is the uh, protection, the preservation, and the safety of the public. Uh, that's really what it is. Um, you know, in eastern Oklahoma, back in the 1890s, uh, Indian Territory was uh, initially surveyed. Um, you can still get online, you can find their maps, their survey field notes, you can find the list of all the crew members and who done what on the survey crews. All that stuff's still accessible. And what surveyors do uh, today, modern surveyors, we actually continue uh, to use those original survey boundaries from the 1890s. Uh, they're all relevant to projects that go on today. And so there's a historical part of the job that's very enjoyable and rewarding as well. Um, legal land boundaries, they matter for all kinds of reasons. Uh, think about uh, the smallest thing, maybe building a fence. Well, you want the fence to be in the right spot. Um, and so any kind of construction project from building a fence to building a highway, bridges, you know, all of the uh, arenas that we enjoy sporting events in, um, they all had to pass through the hands of a surveyor. A surveyor was involved in the construction of that. And so it's very important and uh, responsibility. It's a very important um, segment of work uh, in uh, protecting and benefiting uh, society. And uh, the Bureau of Labor and Statistics in 2019 um, said that the median um, salary for a registered land surveyor was just over $63,000. And I want you to know, though, that the BLS, they, when you see those numbers, they do not keep track of surveyors who own their own business. And I just know from experience, um, if you own your own business as a land surveyor, you're going to make well above that if you want to. The potential is there for uh, much higher uh, income uh, than that. And so most of those income medians are from people who work for a firm. Um, but... Um, how do you become a surveyor? Well, uh, let me finish up with this. Um, it's not uh, real easy to become a surveyor. Um, you know, you have to start out, uh, first of all, you can't even apply uh, to be a surveyor unless you have six years of uh, work experience. So they're very serious about uh, protecting the profession and making sure that the work is quality. Um, once you're starting to get your uh, experience wrapped up and you start the application process with the state board, you know, every state has a board that regulates uh, surveys and they decide what the criteria is in order to become a surveyor. And so you uh, uh, find out what their education requirements are because there's always some college uh, survey specific courses that need to be completed and passed. Uh, when you get ready for an application, most states require uh, referrals from other surveyors who have their license. 
uh, so that they can uh, attest to your character because they want quality people uh, doing the surveys. And uh, once that stuff's completed and you get your application passed, then you have a six hour uh, math exam that's proctored. You also have a six hour proctored um, legal exam uh, and then you have uh, some sort of state-specific exam, and it's probably also going to be somebody there watching you take the test um, on that. That's what proctored means. And uh, once all those things are completed and you pass everything, uh, then you are awarded a license. And the license allows you to uh, perform surveys uh, for the public. And so... Um, once you get your license, um, you can uh, work for many, many uh, companies out there. Uh, engineers and surveyors go together. Engineer or surveyors and realtors, you know, work often together. You know, there's a lot of career options out there for surveyors. Um, so who's good for surveying? Um, you know, there's a lot of turnover on the entry level uh, surveying uh, career. Uh, you know, uh, you you need to like the outdoors. I mean, you're just going to be outdoors. Um, you need to be able to enjoy that. And um, I think, you know, I would best describe somebody who I think would fit uh, with a career of surveying would be the person who, you know, whenever there's adverse weather or adverse conditions, and uh, they want they're the person that wants to be at work that day. They want to overcome the, the challenge, you know, when it's unreasonable for other people uh, to go to the office. They want to be the ones that's, uh, you know, driving in the adverse weather or conditions uh, to be there. And, I, you know, that type of character, somebody who loves to overcome a challenge is a good fit for a surveyor because every single day as a surveyor, um, I start out with a treasure hunt, whether it's historical documents or whether it's uh, historical uh, monuments on the ground or other surveyors information, something, there's a treasure hunt that starts. But then you, before you know it, you have gathered a bunch of puzzle pieces and these puzzle pieces have to be analyzed and put together uh, where they make sense. And there's, a, there's just a lot of challenges every single day and every job's a little bit different, which makes it a little bit more enjoyable. So uh, I hope uh, that you'll uh, consider um, maybe uh, becoming a surveyor. It's very rewarding if you love the outdoors and if you love technology. And you, have to, you don't have to have any experience at all to begin a career in surveying. You just need to find somewhere to go work, somewhere to start working as a surveyor to start uh, building up your experience. So I hope this was um, encouraging to you and informative to you. And anyway, I appreciate your time. Thank you.